Hello guys, welcome to the grade 10 physics revision. Okay, so I want to do a physics revision on reading the micrometer screw gauge like this question which I posted in the group which says what is the reading shown on the micrometer screw gauge? Okay, so I want you to know how to answer questions on the micrometer screw gauge for once and for all. Okay, so what you must understand here is this that the micrometer screw gauge has two sections from which you take the readings from. There is this section or part which is known as the sleeve and also this section here which is known as the thimble. All right. So before you begin taking the readings, you need to study carefully the markings that are placed on the apparatus okay so like when you look at this apparatus here it has a zero and then it has a five here now the problem is you might be cheated by the way you look at it you may think that this five is for this line here when not look when you look at this one here this first line here and the zero the zero comes first before this straight line meaning even here there's another straight line where five is supposed to be and it is blocked by this thimble here okay so again you must be able to say that if this is zero then there must be this is one two three four then five this side up to somewhere i don't know maybe this can go up to 25 okay so you must be very very careful again some questions like in a, in the exam can come with only lines above here but some can come with lines at the bottom here or below so again you need to know what do these lines represent so these lines here represents just 0 0.5 but each line here represents one like if you have a zero then it is one two three four five five is this side but these ones meaning you read them like if this is a zero so you come here 0 0.5 1 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 4 4.5 there's that line you can see here so as far as the reading is concerned you read up to the last line which you are able to see which is that line there so that line is uh, 0.5 so meaning this is a 4 the last bigger line here is 4 then this other one is a 4.5 okay because you read 0 0 0.5 1 1.5 then here 2 2.5 3 3.5 4 4.5 Okay, so meaning the main scale, which this one is the main scale, is going to be 4.5 millimeters. Then the next, you read the thimble. So when you're reading the thimble, you are guided by this line here. So the line on the thimble, which makes a straight line with this, is where the reading Z is taken from. Okay, like when you look at this line here, makes a straight line with this line. So meaning on the thimble, your reading should be taken from here, starting from the bottom going upward. So again, you start like if you have this straight line here, the longer one here is 20, then this other one also is 25, the other one 30. Then from here up to here, it's 5 units. So meaning you are at 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now you need to take the reading from here. So meaning you are at 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So here, this is the line you are reading from the thimble is now. Circular scale, you will say now it's 25. Okay. So now you evoke now the formula which says reading is equal to many scale plus circular scale times C. Uh, list count so again you start substituting main scale 4.5 plus circular scale to 24 then times list count is 0 0.01 millimeters then you you write equals so first of all this one you should write it as it is plus so you deal with the uh, board mass so you multiply 24 times 0 0.01 millimeters you get 0 0.024 millimeters then after that you add 4.5 millimeters plus 0 0.24 which will give you 4.74 millimeters and the answer was put there i don't know you guys even me in the first place i didn't know that this the answer because they didn't even put the units there so that is the reading there so that saying that whatever can be placed here can show the reading as the one we have 
found up found him then next we had another one like yeah you underline so we had another one like here the venia caliper so we said work out the reading shown on the venia caliper here so you need also to work out the reading again as i'm teaching this will make you understand the venia caliper how to read it so again here the venia caliper has two places from which the readings are taken from so we have this called the many scale from zero here up to 20 up to 11 then we have also the readings here which are known as the venia scale so we have the main scale reading and then the venia scale reading so when you're reading on the main scale you read from zero until the last line on the main scale before the line on the venia scale before the first line on the venia scale so you start reading from here until you find the first line on the venia scale so the last line before you cross the this line on the venia scale is this line here so you need to take the readings from this line now you need to know what does this line represent so you here you are at a three and here you are at four so what does each line here represent so you should know that okay each line represent like point one so here you are at three three point one three point two three point three three point four three point five this long one then three point six three point seven three point eight so meaning the main scale here is three point eight centimeters because this is marked in centimeters you place like that then next you go to the venia scale now when you're reading the venia scale here you check the lines on the venia scale to look for a line that makes a straight line with a line on the many scale so there are these lines on the venia scale and lines on the many scale so check for a line on a venia scale that makes a straight line with the line on the main scale that is where the reading should be taken from and this line is this there are two lines like this and this but this one makes almost a straight line like that okay so that's where the reading should be taken from now what does this line represent so to know what this line represents you need to check at this number here or this line which is given zero and this line which is given 10 so it means for this to be 10 it means they were counting like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so now you know that each line represents one unit so you want to end from here so you read from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 so meaning the venia scale here you say venia scale is equal to four don't put any units here then now you evoke or bring in the formula which says the reading is going to be many scale plus venia scale times the least count so when you do that you start substituting many scale you put 3.8 plus venia scale you put four times the least count since it is it is in centimeter it will be 0 0.01 centimeters then again you put this one down here plus so you multiply first this you deal with this which has multiplication according to body mass so four times 0 0.01 centimeters it will be 0 0.04 centimeters then next you add 3.8 centimeters plus 0 0.04 centimeters it will give you 3.84 centimeters like that yeah so basically this is it guys this is it so you need to know how to read the, the micrometer screw gauge the venia caliper so guys if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you are watching this video from my facebook page please kindly follow the facebook page and also share for more videos of that nature and if you are watching it from my youtube channel again can you subscribe and also turn on the bell notification so that youtube can notify you whenever i send a new video guys love you as for now bye and see you in the next lesson please peace